Hi guys, welcome back to another Photos Go video. This channel is where we discuss and learn new skills around the topics of design and development. If you want to grow your skills and learn new things that are coming up, please subscribe for more videos just like this. Don't forget to smash the like button for me, this really helps me to create more content. In this video, we'll be learning about how we can spice up our application with awesome animations. We are going to use next editing and frame motion uh, for our example here. But frame motion is a React library, so you can still achieve the same result in your React projects or any other framework and libraries out there that are built on top of React. I'm inside the frame motion official documentation. And Framer Motion is an awesome library and excellent choice of library for creating animations in web and also multi cross platforms as well. Framer Motion is a library created by Framer, uh, which is a designing and prototyping tool. With Framer Motion, you can uh, create slick and modern animation to your React based applications. Let's take a look at what we will be building with Framer Motion. So uh, I've already opened up um, some uh, local server and pretty much uh, it's a simple app uh, so that we can demonstrate and experiment things out with the frame motion. And um, you can see uh, we don't have any uh, frame motion added in this particular app. Do some animation with frame motion. So um, and here we have a list of products where we can see a list of products here. And here we have a contact us page, which is pretty much looks uh, dummy. Um, I have taken these components from uh, Tailwind UI. And uh, thanks to Tailwind UI for beautifully creating these um, UI for us. All right. So uh, let's take a look at um, how uh, we are going to change this application by using Frame Motion. And in the other port, I have, um, I'm running the other application and that I have already completed and we are going to do this side by side uh, together. All right. So um, yeah, this is a home page so uh, nothing here. So I have created this per uh, particular route where you can see some slick animation going on where we have a fading animation uh, from the bottom to the top and also um, some animation uh, to these cards. And if you go to products, you can see all the products are are like easing in and um, like fitting in but you can still achieve a lot of things with frame motion so uh, let's back go back to um, the framer uh, motion documentation and uh, read uh, the doc documentation right here so uh, let's go to interaction and inside interaction we can see the first thing that we will be presented is the motion component well, the motion component is just like adding motion dot to your HTML attribute. So it can be paragraph tags, anchors, or any other stuff. So uh, motion dot, then div. And we probably give a couple of um, uh, props to this particular tag, so to say. And the prop is animate, the animate prop. And you can further uh, drill down into animate prop. Uh, but uh, these are some of the... Um, possible animation that we could achieve with frame motion we can also add some powerful gestures like while hover white while tap drag events and we will um, also use some hover um, animations and also while tap animation but not drag animation for this tutorial but um, we will obviously going to variants so variants are like used to um, animate the entire subtree of components uh, so we can um, animate something like stagger children and animate all the all the uh, variants, um, you know, uh, variants which is probably a nested dome tree, uh, so to say, and we can animate all of these. And also comes with sc scroll trigger, server side rendering animation, uh, motion values, and what not. So. Um, uh, Let's go ahead and scaffold a blank uh, Next.js 13 project and I'll get back to you. I've already created a Next.js 13 project and it's listening to changes in port 3000. 
and I've created this pro a particular project with the new command uh, which is npx create an uh, app latest with dash dash experimental dash app flag so that we could experiment things out with next 13 but as I said before this is also applicable to next 12 or react or any uh, frameworks and libraries based on top of um, react uh, even um, remix as well so uh, the first thing that I want to point out and discuss about is the folder structure that I have uh, prepared here which is uh, the page is the, the default route which is the home route as we can see um, next year's with frame or motion and here is also next year's with frame or motion and uh, this is the home route uh, and we have the page wrapper which wraps the entire uh, component just not the nap bar because we want to animate things sliding in effect uh, to the page wrapper so inside of the page wrapper i will um, add some frame of motion animation um, here so uh, i will just stop the server and install frame of motion with npm i framer motion so um, after that's been installed we can use an import framer motion inside of our project so um, yeah and framer motion is installed so let's go to page wrapper and inside page wrapper uh, two things we want to import uh, from framer motion first is a motion and the second is animate presence uh, we haven't really discussed about this particular thing called animate presence but you can find this in the framer motion docs so let's discuss a bit about animate presence so animate presence is um, the animation that happens when something is removed from the dome tree or from the react tree and it allows components to animate out when they are removed from the um, react tree but it's not necessary that we need to add an animate presence but uh, if um, there are some glitches happening to your application when um, the dome tree is being removed then uh, probably you need this particular uh, thing to be imported called animate presence and uh, that's when uh, the unmounting happens and um, uh, you can see allows them to defer um, that unmounting until that operation is complete so it uh, notifies when um, when the component are being unmounted so uh, this is uh, pretty handy stuff so we'll be using this and obviously these are from framer motion and let's uh, go ahead and add this animate presence uh, to our tags here so that we can wrap everything inside of animate presence and uh, probably we need a closing brackets here closing fragment and format this stuff all right now the next thing uh, is as we discussed before we are wrapping our entire application with motion.dev and after adding that particular motion dot we can add for the attributes um, not attributes but pass down props so uh, the first prop that we are passing is the initial which is uh, the initial value of the, uh, the animation that's going to take place so, so the initial uh, value uh, for the opacity and we'll be animating this opacity uh, opacity would be zero and um, the y position is 15 all right so uh looks good uh, these are the initial values and we want to copy this and paste it here and we want to call this animate and we want to animate is the opacity uh, to one and uh, paste this y to zero all right and what happens when it exists the animation uh, well uh, in the exit we could um, add something like exit and exit um, while exiting it should be animating to not 9 but 0 and uh, y to 15 let's uh, let's see what happens and also add a transition property so that it will be uh, smoothing in and add transition and inside this we can add property like delay which would be uh, 0 0.25 milliseconds so after this is done probably we should see some kind of animation to our application because we are wrapping uh, every 
component or every page with a page wrapper uh, products page contact uh, page and about page are all wrapped with the page wrapper so uh, this page wrapper motion that div will take into effect now let's um, run our application with npm run dev and it should open up in uh, this particular port if we refresh then we could we should see something sliding in because uh yeah now we we saw that something is sliding in right you can see um yeah the animation is being um placed in the wrapper component that's why it's uh animating all the pages all right it looks good it looks good until uh so far so now uh, let's go ahead and animate some of our napa uh styles or napa ui elements so inside of our nap bar what we want to do is we want to animate um, we want to bring uh, these motion from uh, framework motion so i'll just uh, import uh, motion from him motion and uh, the first thing that we want to do is we want to uh, know the um, actual um, the active route for so to say uh, if it's an about page we want to highlight this if it's a product page we want to highlight products if it's a contact us we want to highlight contact so in order to uh, know what is the uh, route uh, that uh, the user is trying to visit we can use um handy hook from next uh, called use path name so let's import use path name after importing use path name we can create a constant and call it path which helps us to know the right path name for the path so uh, we will use that hook which is use a path uh, probably it said path name and um just call it and this path now uh, what we can do is we can add a conditional uh, class names to our path so that uh, if the path is exactly to the path that they are trying to they are looking at so this um, uh, this area is being mapped so we know the path that uh, is the user is visiting so we'll um, remove that and replace this with template to literals uh, or backticks uh, and uh, we can add a dollar sign here and uh, let's suppose um, l dot ref which is the ref property is uh, strictly equal to the path then we should add this uh, particular styles else not uh, we will add these styles so um, inside this styles i'll just grab um, the styles that uh, that was ready and uh, th these are the styles that we'll be adding and uh, if it's not then we are not adding any of the styles and obviously we want to add uh, some some styles um, despite of this path is uh, like uh, the same path that user is visiting or not all right uh, with this in place we should save this and see it in action and we can see the about is being highlighted and if we go to products products is being highlighted but the thing is we are not uh, taking i mean we are not um, seeing the yellow uh, probably it should compile up uh, the stars so we can see uh, now it's yellow all right so uh, looks good so far now let's also uh, experiment things out um, when users are hovering things out all right so uh, for that we already imported the motion so that's why we imported that and um we also need to add a motion.div uh, for example we can add a motion.div to this particular um element and uh, after adding that we could add some uh props uh, so one of the props that we could add is while hover while hover and we could uh add some animation properties here uh, so animation property that we are trying to do is when users are hovering we are scaling things out so let's light right scale which is 1.1 1 .1. all right so after uh, we added scale and we format this out and take a look at here and we can see uh, it's being scaled we can also add other properties like when pressed and something like that 
we saw that uh, before in the introduction where we do have something like uh, while hover while tap and drag events so basically uh, we are using all of the animation that are available to us via CSS with a JavaScript library that's why any uh, uh, CSS property uh, could be animated um, inside our divs so with this in place uh, we are pretty much fine with our navigation so we could uh, further uh, spice things out but um, this looks uh, decent for now all right so uh, what we want to move uh, to is uh, if we uh, visit this particular page then we could see uh, the things sliding in uh, from bottom to top but we want to fade in these images uh, after we slide in uh, and enter this particular route so for that to happen we need uh, something called um, what do we call it so it's basically a, a bunch of variants and so because these are four um, uh, kind of uh, HTML tags so we need to add these four tags with these kind of um, syntax so bear in mind uh, uh, this is a particular syntax that I'll be writing for animating these cards and this would um, implement some stagger effects inside of our cards here all right so with that in place uh, let's visit our, our products and inside of our products we have these uh, group relative which is the list of these cards probably this is an about page sorry all right uh, so this is about page and we have a couple of images here so we could add some um, animation and frame of motion um, props uh, to our tags here now first let's start by importing motion from frame of motion so we need to import um, frame of motion uh, because it's a uh, like uh, we are experimenting things out with frame of motion all right so uh let's also create some constants so the first constant that i want to create is and call it variance so these variants um you can also use this uh, object notation inside of our your tags itself but uh, this would be some properties uh, that we are passing into that particular tag uh, down below that we'll be dealing with and these variants are just uh, the same thing that we saw here which is uh, this and these are just constants and um, variants is item and uh, we are using variants list and passing the item as a variant so um, same way uh, we are uh, declaring a constant where and calling it variance and we are giving it a bunch of um, properties like hidden and so should be opacity of one and the stagger children uh, would uh, we would give it a value of 0 0.3 after that's done we are uh, creating another constant and we are calling it images and inside images we are firstly uh, hiding up the image to opacity one I mean opacity zero a little on showing it with opacity one and a little bit of um, x-axis uh, giving it an x-axis of 30 and showing it at uh, at zero and the transition duration is one uh, after that has been added now we can further move down to our motion uh, div and add variants inside there so and that's basically the image wrapper so it's this particular div so we can add motion.div and also motion.image to all of our, our images down here so let's go ahead and add motion.image to all of our image all right so now we are ready to add some um, props inside this particular motion.div uh, so uh, i will add some couple of uh, props so these are variants um, initial and animate so um, with this prop uh, in the parent uh, parent it would um, be okay uh, so that we could add some more props inside of our motion um, dot image and we can add variants and call it this particular constant that we made which is images so um, variants is images so let's paste this image in all of the image all right so after adding the 
a variant prop uh, and giving it images we are pretty much fine with this animation let's take a look at what it happens and you can see uh, we also have the stagger effects you can see uh, all image is not appeared at once it's just staggering things out so basically the source is from the documentation it's the similar thing that we implemented so uh, please read the documentation all right and let's go to product page and we want to implement the same thing with these cards so inside of your uh, products let's go to products and go to page so that would be inside of products and we'll collapse this and um, inside here we have a couple of um, and these um, group relative which is, which is basically the card card items we want to do the same uh, we want to first import motion from frame motion so let's import a motion from frame motion and we also want to add in some um, constants uh, for example we will add variance which would be um, hidden initially and later on it will show up with opacity of one and uh, transition would be stagger children with the value of 0 0.5 and uh, also let's also define another constant and call it images and obviously you can pass this object uh, down here in your tags so to say so you can obviously pass this inside your tags now let's uh, go ahead and change this so we will change we'll add a couple of uh, props to our this particular div but we haven't really added motion so let's add motion.div here and we can now add a couple of props so these props are basically the props a similar kind of prop we added before which is variants are variants and initial is hidden and animate is show all right with these props in place we can now add motion to these divs as well all right so it looks good um and now what we can do is we can also add variants and pass in variant as images for example we could add variants and this should be images because the variants are images now with this in place let's go ahead uh, probably i missed a variant um prop here let's go ahead and save and see that in action we can see that our cards is being staggered and everything isn't uh, coming at once but sliding in which is great and it's a pretty much slick animation so far now uh, the last piece is if we visit the contact uh, page we want to um, visit the contact page and sliding uh, slide in another image on top of this image we could uh, like um, delete this image from the dome and add another image but uh, for now we could just slide in another image after we visit this particular route so uh, that's uh, pretty much easy to implement uh, with the help of frame or motion all right so now um, let's go to contact us page and first thing is we want to import uh, motion from frame or motion and also we want to add uh, this motion dot attribute to our image let's go ahead and grab uh, this and add up in our image all right so here is the image and we can add motion dot uh, to this particular image and uh, another thing that we want to do is this should be uh, relative so we have added relative to this particular div and let's also add another image and we could add another image here and this is uh, the another image uh, which comes on top of that particular image and this can uh, this also uh, like motion dot um, to our this image tag and uh, it's initial animate and transition properties um, or props that we are passing here and uh, this looks pretty much decent so now let's go ahead and see this whether this is working or not and we can see uh, everything is working as expected because we visited this particular route and the image was fading in uh, yeah uh, this is pretty much it uh, and uh, it's pretty much how uh, we could um, like manage things out 
for example we could also use this particular objects inside of our um, variance where we define our variance so this could be uh, right here as well so basically we we are like abstracting things out with a constant and this is a good practice but the best practice would be like creating a separate file for the animation properties all right so in this video we'll uh, learn about how we could uh, like integrate and uh, experiment things with our next year's 13 and frame of motion we learned about how to blend these two things together and i hope you learned something new from this so if you want to uh, learn more around the topics of design and development please subscribe for more videos just like this don't forget to smash the like button for me it really helps me to create more content thanks a lot guys see you in the next one